Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video I show you how to allow domain user to automatic login, without typing password. It is known that all domain users, enter their own password to log into computers. For example, this is one of the client's computers. Here you must enter the password in order to complete the login process. But if you want to log in directly, and without entering a password, this is what I will explain to you now, step by step. First, from the client's computer, open the registry, type in the search box registry editor, and from the search results, click on registry editor. After that, from the left sidebar, open the path, that appears in front of you on the screen, and it is the, HQ local machine. Get to the path shown in front of you. Then go to the other side, and click on the auto admin logo, and you will find that the value of this key is 0, and it will change the value to 1, but from the server through the policy group. Now go to the server, to create a policy that allows this user to auto login, open server manager dashboard, and click on the tools menu from the top of the page, then from the menu click on group policy management. After opening the group policy management, go to the left sidebar, and expand the foreset, and select the server you will be working on. Then right click on the domain name, and from the menu, click on create a GPO in this domain. And link it here. This is to apply the policy at the domain level. Then in the new GPO window, enter an appropriate name for this policy, so that it will be easier for you to access it later. Then click on OK button. Then, right click on the GPO that was just created, and from the menu click on edit. This will open group policy management editor window. After that, go to the left sidebar, and expand the folders, to access the path that appears in front of you on the screen. And I will leave you this path in the description of the video. Then go to the other side, and right click and from menu select new, then from submenu select registry item. After opening the new registry properties, select the action on update, in order to always update them, then click on the three dot button, in front of the key path, then go to the path shown in front of you on the screen. After reaching the path, click on the select button, then in front of the name value field, type auto admin logo, one word without spaces, and the first letter is a capital letter, as it appears in front of you on the screen. Then in the value date, type number 1, then click on the apply button, and then OK, and this is the first registry key. After that I will create another registry key, right click and from menu select new, then from the submenu select registry item. And with the same previous steps, make sure that the action is on update, then click on the three dot button, in front of key path, then go to the path shown in front of you on the screen. Then at the bottom, select default domain name, then click on the select button. Then in front of the value date, type the domain name. If you did not find it written, then click on the apply button and OK, and this is the second registry key. Then right click and from the menu select new, then from the submenu select registry item. With the same previous steps, go to the same path, the path shown in front of you on the screen. Then, at the bottom, search for default username, and select it. Then click on the select button. Then in front of value data, type name of the user, that you want to auto login, then click on the apply button and OK. Then right click and from the menu select new, then from the submenu select registry item. With the same previous steps, go to the same path, the path shown in front of you on the screen. Then at the bottom, search for default password, and select it. Then click on the select button. Then, in front of value data type the password of the user, you want to auto login, then click on the apply button and OK. With these steps, the creation of the GPO has been completed, and you can now close all open windows in front of you, and then we will move to the client computer. From the client's computer, open the command prompt, 
and type the update command that appears in front of you on the screen. This command will update the group policy. After completing group policy update, restart this computer now. After applying the policy to this user, you will find that he has already logged in without typing password or displaying the login screen. If you want to apply this policy to more than one user, it is better to create GPO for each user separately. I hope the video was useful to you. Thank you for watching. And I also hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.